Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this video, I will teach you how to create a data loop using the queue timer for every one second will print the date and time information in our application. I will also teach you how to send and receive Boolean data, and lastly how to press the enter or return keys to execute functions. Before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Let's start by importing the Python datetime module. After that we will create a function that every second will return the date to our user interface using the class QTimer. Import the class QTime and QT core. After that we will use the functions timeout and connect to execute the function that we will and use the lambda function for that. Our function will be called setTime. As this function has not yet been created, let's create it right below as shown in the video. This function does not need any slots, because it will only send data to our user interface. Create a variable as shown in the video to format the date and time using the strf time function. And I will use the print function to test if everything is working correctly. Going back to the parameters of the queue timer, we will add the function start which will contain the number of thousand milliseconds, that is, every one second it will execute the function we just created. See that when we run the application the data is being displayed correctly every second in our output. Now we need to add this time information to our user interface. Let's create a signal called print time that will be responsible for sending this date and time information to our application. Now going to our home page let's create a function that will receive this signal that we just created and send it to our label date. Do not forget that the name of this function must be the same as the name of the signal we just created and starting with the letters O and N. When we run the application we can see the time being applied correctly to our user interface. Now I will teach you how to send Boolean data to the Python back end and return this data. We will use this data to display and hide our rectangle below. Mark the value of this switch button as checked as the initial status, and then we will create a function that whenever this status is changed it will be sent to our Python back end. We will create a function where whenever the on toggle is changed it will trigger the function called show hide rectangle that will send the checked value of the switch button. Now let's take this function out of our Python backend. Remember, this function will receive data from the user interface, so we need to add a boolean slot for this function. So let's print a message on our output saying whether the rectangle's visibility is true or false.
we will create a signal called as visible that will send this Boolean value to the user interface. Now we are going to create the function within our home page that will receive this signal that we just created. This received signal will change the visible parameter of the dark rectangle in the center of our application. Add an ID for this rectangle and after that apply it to the function as shown in the video. Now when we run our application we see that the visibility is being changed successfully and see that the output is also displaying the information correctly. After that to finish this video we will add two functions to our text field that will be triggered when the enter or return keys are pressed. Add the on enter pressed function that will execute the welcome text function whenever the enter key is pressed. We can copy and paste this function that we just created just by changing the function for when the return key is pressed. Now when we run our application we see that all the functions that we created in this video are working correctly. In the next video, I will teach you how to create a simple text editor using this user interface that we created during this course. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.